I smell like a Norwegian pine forest? Not usually, dear. Uh, well, um, smell me. What? Well, I've just had a bath in this new bath lotion. So smell me and tell me if I remind you of anything. Hmm, vaguely. Uh, well, have another sniff. Oh, yes, yes, now I've got it. What? The cupboard under the stairs. Yeah. <laughs> cupboard under the stairs? Yes, I spilt a bottle of pine disinfectant in there. Of well, course, I'm not forking out three quid a bottle to smell like a cupboard. I mean, for that money, you want to find me, you know, sort of sexy and irresistibly attractive. I probably would if I were a pine tree. <laughs> also supposed to rejuvenate the skin. According to this, I should, I should be glowing with health. Well, put the lights out and we'll have a look. <laughs> I see. As far as you're concerned, then, it hasn't made any difference. I'm the same unlovely, dull-skinned senior citizen to be that tottered up the stairs half an hour ago. You were only having a bath, darling. Not dipping yourself in the fountain of youth. You know, I really think we ought to throw away some of these old socks of yours. That's typical. That is typical of the trend today, isn't it? Throw it away, get rid of it. It's worthless because it's old. Oh, not because it's old, because it's non-existent. I grant you, I grant you it may be wearing a little thin. Thin? There's nothing there. We are, we are none of us what we were, June. I mean, look at me. Well, at least you're not full of holes. <laughs> I mean, I feel young and vigorous and in my prime, and yet, and yet because I'm trapped in this decaying lump of flesh, they, they say I'm middle-aged. Who do? At the office. We've had an intake of young trendies and executive positions, and, and they, they regard me as one of the old guard. Well, they are wrong. I mean, age is a mental thing, and I, I still think young. I mean, I, I, I don't mind admitting my age, because it's unimportant. You're only 49. I'm not 49. <laughs> yes, you are. I am coming up to 46. From which direction? <laughs> On my next birthday, I shall be 46, which means at this moment in time, I am 45. Well, as you said, it really isn't important. Well, it's not important. Didn't I just say it's, it's unimportant? Yes. Well, then, I'm 45, right? As you say, darling. You don't believe me. Terry, I thought we just agreed that age is unimportant. It's a trivial matter, so forget it. Oh, trivial, is it? Absolutely. Right. How old are you? I'm not telling you. Ah. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Well, it, it, it's different for women. We've discovered the secret of eternal youth. Yeah, you lie about your age. <laughs> how old did you say you were? Forty how much? I am two years older than you. You're 45. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. June, would you, would you call 45 middle-aged? If you plan on living till you're 90, yes. It's got nothing to do with actual years. I mean, mentally, I'm still a young man. I mean, that's what these trendies don't realise. I mean, in here, in here, I am young. Crikey, there's another grey hair. What exactly is going on at the office? I haven't seen you this worried for years. Oh, there's a, there's a new shake-up. The chairman's nephew, a chinless wonder with a red brick degree and skin trouble, has, has been put in charge of personnel. He's going through the records, and anyone old enough to remember the coronation is in big trouble. Do you know? Do you know who got the push today? Dick Morton, head of distribution. Crikey, he's only four years older than me. Fifty-three. Fifty-three. No, no. <laughs> no, dear. No. Uh, 49. Oh, yes. He, he's 49. Yes, yes. Mm. And they've let him go. Oh, yeah. We were walking past Malcolm's office and suddenly Malcolm called him in for a power. And when he came out, Morton was a broken man. I'm the first to go, he said. But there will be others. And then, then he looked straight at me. Oh, Terry, it's your imagination. No, Judy, he knows something. Oh, for the next few weeks, I'm going to avoid Malcolm like the plague. Well, that won't be too easy with your offices next door to each other. Well, uh, I shall flit in and flit out like a shadow, leaving not a trace behind. Apart from the faint aroma of Norwegian pine forests. Yeah. <laughs> this muck, you will look younger and feel fresher. Your skin will glow all over. <laughs> I'd been better off buying a gallon of luminous paint and splashing myself with disinfectant. <laughs> June, now, do you consider me to be middle-aged? It depends what you mean by middle-aged. Well, I keep telling you it's a mental attitude. I mean, middle-aged is when your narrow waist and broad mind change places. Well, <laughs> in that case, darling, don't worry. You're only halfway there. Ah, thank you. What?
Hello there. Oh, uh, uh, good night, Malcolm. Uh, hang on, Terry. It is Terry, isn't it? I only ask because I haven't seen you in such an age. Age? Uh, which age? Whose age are we talking about? <laughs> oh, you know, Yonks. Yonks? Yes, Yonks. Oh, is he in charge of overseas sales? <laughs> no, 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 I mean, I haven't seen you for such a long time. I was beginning to think that you were avoiding me. Me? No. Or as if I had the plague or something. Hey, whatever, whatever, whatever gave you that idea. Well, I suppose it's the way you pussyfoot past my door every day. Pussyfoot? I do not pussyfoot. I, I tread boldly. You may tread boldly before and afterward while passing my door. By God, you pussyfoot. Anyway, now that I've got hold of you, uh, nip into my office for a little powwow. Oh, um... It's not a good time, actually, Matt. But June's waiting for me downstairs. I'm afraid that can't be helped. You see, this concerns a directive from the chairman's nephew. Oh. Are you all right, old man? Old? I I'm not old. Good heavens above. I'm full of vim and vigour and, and get up and go. Yes, well, don't get up and go just yet, because I want to have a word with you. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, well, I mean, I, there's not an ounce of flab here, you know. I mean, there's, I'm, what, that's a solid wall of muscle. Feel it. Go on. Well, I take your word for it, Terry. Oh, go on, go on. Give it a punch. You won't do any damage. Well, I'd really rather not. Oh, go on, go on. Punch it. It's a solid wall of rock. Go on, punch it. But I won't feel a thing. Ah, oh, very well. Mm. <laughs> Like I said, I didn't feel a thing. Very impressive. Now, would you mind? After you. Uh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose I, uh, I shouldn't really be telling you this, but you've got to know, sooner or later, uh, sit down. Oh, I think I'd better, yes. <laughs> now, as you know, the chairman's nephew is proving to be the new broom that sweeps clean with a vengeance. Well, we're not so dusty, are we? <laughs> oh, no. Terry, you will have your little joke, <laughs> even when it's very little. Now, the point is that none of us is safe. Morton went last week, and yesterday we said goodbye to Henderson. Not Carpethead Henderson. Yes, I'm afraid so. But he wasn't old. You remember that he wore a toupee? Well, of course I did. I mean, we all knew. I mean, that's why we called him Carpethead. But, I mean... <laughs> I still say he wasn't old. Old enough to be replaced by a younger man. It's happening in every department. And now, Teddy, this. No, now look here, Malcolm. Before you go any further, let me tell you this. I mean, I don't wear a wig, and these are my my teeth. And if Winston Churchill had been given the push at 45, we would have lost the Second World War. What on earth has Winston Churchill got to do with disco? Discos, yeah. What? <laughs> But this goes, that's what this directive is all about. You see, the chairman's nephew is organising the firm's annual dance this year, and the little blight has decided to hold it in the local disco. Now you can see what that means, can't you? Well, of course, I should. I, I certainly... No, not really, no. <laughs> can you disco dance? Well, good heaven to no, know. I mean, the last dance I mastered was the Big Apple. <laughs> Precisely. So, you can be quite sure that the chairman's nephew and his trendy friends will be able to groove with authority. In fact, they will monopolise the floor whilst the rest of us sit around like overripe bananas, proof positive that we're out of touch with the time. What a sneaky, low-down, filthy, dirty, rotten trick. Yeah, it is a bit off, isn't it? Anyway, they're not going to get away with it. When that dance comes around, this department at least will be up to it. Up, up to what? Well, disco dancing. Now, I... Uh... I got hold of this during the lunch hour. Do your own thing disco style. Mm. There's a, a cassette that comes with it. It's damned effective, actually. I've only been at it for an hour, and I'm already on to page, uh, page 38. Uh, disco meringue, four-count rap turn. <laughs> disco, disco what? A disco meringue. Now, actually, there's, uh, there's something you could help clarify for me. It's all beautifully laid out in photographs. Now, uh, now you better be the woman. Oh, I don't look anything like her. Yeah. <laughs> well, now, it's, um, it's a four-beat sequence, a starting position, holding hands at arm's length. Right, give me your hands, Terry. Oh, is this absolutely necessary, Malcolm? Well, I would like to crack it before I go home, so if Beat is on her feet again, I can whip her through it before she loses interest. She has all the concentration of a gnat. Now then, uh, here we are. On the first beat, uh, the man, 
that's me, uh, begins the turn by leading the woman, that's you. Yeah, you have told me, Malcolm. Uh, round to the right, as he walks to her left, stepping on the left... No, 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 the, the left foot. Uh, whilst the woman, that's you... Well, there's no need to keep reminding me. Thank you. ..turns left onto the right foot, and the man continues to the right as he wraps up the woman in his right arm. I'm not a parcel, you know. <laughs> Dropping his left arm over. Look, um, do you think it would be easier for you if I played the accompanying music? What is it? Would you like to get funky with me? <laughs> oh, let, let's not complicate things, my no. no, perhaps you're right. I, uh, I think I'll, I'll just count you through it. Mm. Now then. <clears throat> Beat. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. <laughs> so far, so good. No, Malcolm. I... Uh, <laughs> I think I'd better have another deck out the book. Malcolm. Yeah. Oh, damn, I... I should have let go with the left arm. Yes, I thought there was something. <laughs> Can anyone join in, or do I wait for a lady's excuse me? <laughs> well, hello, June. I, I was just showing Terry a few steps. It's, it's the disco meringue. <laughs> Looks more like a couple of cream puffs. <laughs> Look at her, I, um, I think you'd better take this lot home with you. Now, the sooner you bone up on all this, really get on down, as it were, the sooner you'll be able to groove with the rest of them, really boogie all night long, wouldn't you say so, June? Oh, I would, Malcolm, if I knew what you were talking about. Uh, I'll explain it in a minute. You know, when you called me in here, I, I thought I was going to get the sack like the others. Terry, old chap, you're as secure as I am. Oh, well. Which means you're in a pretty rocky position. <laughs> Chairman's nephew doesn't like me, and I don't like him. The axe hovers over my neck as well. So it's either bop or the chop. Precisely. Good luck. Right. And remember. Mm. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Mm. Terry, you're not seriously going to teach yourself disco dancing, are you? Of course not. We're going to do it together. What? One, two, three. <laughs> Hello. Anyone at home? Hello? Popular little night spot, isn't it? Perhaps they're all down with disco fever. <laughs> More like swamp fever. You sure we've come on the right night? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's all in the paper here. Thursday, 7pm, Diamond Horseshoe Disco. Learn the latest steps and join the in crowd. What crowd? We're the only ones here. Well, you know what the in crowd are like, don't you? Jackie Nassis, Liz Taylor, they're always late for everything. <laughs> Coming. I say, Pearlie's nightlife is looking up. Oh, Terry, what are you wearing? What, uh, what, do, what do you mean? No wonder you wouldn't get dressed while I was in the room. That's the shirt you wore in the Pirates of Penzance, isn't it? <laughs> well, it just seemed the appropriate mode of dress for a disco. I mean, if I was going skiing, I'd wear skis. If I was stoking a boiler, I'd wear a boiler suit. So, when I go to disco, so I, I'd dress like this. A lady's hairdresser. A lady's head. I don't. <laughs> I don't look like that, do I? Well, you definitely remind me of something. And you should have let me sew a few buttons on it. It's open down to your navel. But uh, the, the buttons are all there, dear. I mean, that's the, the way you're supposed to wear it. It's all part of the macho look. I mean, it goes with the medallion. Yes, where did that come from? Oh, it's just part of my old army days. I found it in the drawer. Terry, it's hmm? your TA cookery medal, isn't it? <laughs> is it really? Yes, yes, I suppose it is, yes. Very macho, that is. Oh, it's so easy to mock, isn't it, June? But you know me. If I'm going to do something, I commit myself to it completely. Yes, I know, darling. That's what worries me. I don't want what happened to Valerie Cranshaw's husband happening to you. <clears throat> Why? What, what happened? Well, he suddenly took up jogging at the age of 42, and in three weeks he was dead. Oh, isn't that awful? Heart attack? No, a bus hit him. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't have anything to do with him jogging. Well, of course it did. If he hadn't been jogging, he wouldn't have been in the middle of the road and the bus wouldn't have hit him, would it? <laughs> no, but I'm not liable to get run down by a bus in here. Well, no, of course not, but it amounts to the same thing. If you suddenly go in for a lot of exercise at your time of life, the exertion can prove fatal. But it wasn't the exertion that killed him. I mean, for all we know, at the moment of impact, I mean, he'd never been healthier. Oh, I know. That was what was so tragic. 
Valerie said he'd never been fitter in his life. Well, well, there we are then. What do you mean, there we are then? What? Well, I mean, you're trying to say that disco dancing might be bad for me, like jogging was for him. But I mean, you just admitted that he was in tip top condition. What do you mean, tip top condition? He's dead. <laughs> Yeah, but only after the bus hit him. <laughs> yes! Oh, crikey, Junior. Every night for the past week, we've been practising the disco steps. I mean, is any one of those liable to give us apoplexy? Well, not individually, no. But if you start putting them all together, who knows how much energy you'll have to expend. Oh, oh right, fine, fine, fine. While the in crowd is still out, I mean, let's, let's put it all together. Huh. What would you like to do? I'd like to go home. Huh. You're, ch you're chicken, aren't you? What do you mean? Well, you yeah. are. I mean, that's why you want to skip out of it. I mean, you're afraid of forgetting the steps, making a fool of yourself. Nothing of the kind. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, then. Let's start with the basic walking step twice, four beat turn, four side togethers, two basic walking steps, four camel walks, followed by another two basic walking steps, a final four beat turn, and finishing with syncopation left, right, side, in for nitum. All right? <laughs> Fine, fine. I'll, after that, we'll try something complicated. <laughs> Are you ready, Ginger? OK, Fred. After four, all right? Left foot forward. Now, one, two, three, four. Forward, right, left, together, back. Right, left, together, round, right, left, together, side, together, side, together, left, together, side, together. Forward, right, left, together, back, right, left, together, come on, walk. John Travolta? <laughs> no, Edmundo Ross. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, come on, darling, let's go home. Look at you, you're exhausted. Who's, who's, who's exhausted? Uh, if you're not, let's go home anyway. Oh, June, I don't understand you. I mean, we were terrific. I mean, we're, we're probably too good for them. We, we have to, may have to soft pedal a, a bit in case we're too good for the rest of the beginners. <laughs> Get your coat on, June. We're going home. It's a very wise decision, Terry. Oh, it's not that I'm worried about making a fool of myself. I just want to don't want to bop around with these kids. I mean, I should feel like a blasted oak in a forest of saplings. We can we can soldier on with Malcolm's course. It's it's really very effective. Yeah. If you love my body, if you <laughs> On the other hand, one shouldn't <laughs> one shouldn't let one's age stop you getting hold of uh, getting to grips with it, rather any situation that gives you a chance to show what you can do with other people on the floor, a uh, dance floor. I thought you didn't want to feel like a blasted oak. That was before the sap rose. <laughs> I see. Didn't have anything to do with that little birch that just went through. Certainly not. I just had a sudden attack of cold feet, that's all. Cold feet, eh? Well, you come to the right place to warm them up. Here, I shan't be a tick. Just get me jacket off, be right with you. Now, my name's Steve. I'm your actual instructor for this evening. Ah, oh, so you're acquainted with the hitchhiker? Oh, no, she's the wife. <laughs> no, the hand movement. Here, I wouldn't have thought you'd have been into that kind of thing. Oh, flinging your arms about while you're dancing is not you, you know. We, we used to do it all the time in the hokey cokey. Hokey cokey? Are you sure you come on the right night? Now, I only ask because people of your generation occasionally turn up for old time dancing, but that's on Tuesday nights. Old time dancing? The name is Terry and June, not Darby and Joan. My, my husband's firm is hiring this place for their annual dance and we thought we'd just brush up on our technique. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, you won't have to make any allowances for us, you know. Just throw us in at the deep end and we'll sink or swim. Yeah, well, just in case you sink without a trace, I'd better have your cheque for the enrolment fee, eh? Yeah, I, I've got the cheque book, Terry. Steve, can I put a disc on? Yeah, sure, Linda. There's a couple of new ones by me jacket over there. Linda, eh? Bottomley. Isn't she, though? <laughs> now, that's her name, Linda Bottomley. <laughs> oh, she's a lovely mover. She's not bad standing still, either. 
Frankly, I fancy it myself, actually. How much? A hell of a lot. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, darling. Now, it's 15 quid for the full course, but since we're, what, a third of the way through, call it 12, eh? 12 quid? Yeah, I know it sounds a lot, but that's a first-rate establishment. It's got a sprung floor. Oh, sprung, is it? Yeah, that's right. In that case, you won't be surprised if the cheque bounces. <laughs> Here, just come through when you're ready. We're in the line dances at the moment, starting off with hot chocolate. Oh, no thanks, we've just eaten. <laughs> no, no, the dance hot chocolate. <laughs> Don't worry, you'll have no trouble picking it up if you're into disco like you say, you are. Into it? Oh, we're, we're so far into it, we're almost at the other side. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know anything about line dancing. Of course we do. It's said in Malcolm's book. It's just made up of the basic steps. Now, for heaven's sake, June, have more confidence in, you, in yourself. Just say to yourself, whatever it is, we can do it. Whatever it is, we can do it. Right. Whatever it is, we can do it. Whatever it is, we can do it. Whatever it is, we can do it. Like hell, we can. Come on. Let's go. Hi there, guys and girls. We've got a couple of newcomers tonight. Teeny boppers from another age. Well, actually, we, we, we've had a very slight change of heart. Well, make room for them in the middle, then. Come on, Terry and June, we're all waiting for you. What do we do? Well, we can't check it out now. I mean, we owe it to our generation. We'll go somehow. Look how quickly we picked up the walking step. We've been doing that most of our lives. Yeah, three lines of four dancers. Come on, in. Oh, Terry, don't worry. Let it all hang out. Oh, I look forward to that. Chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> Going on an outing. <laughs> 46 being repeating sequence. 46? 5, 6, 7, 8. I shall never, ever attempt disco dancing again. But you were doing so well. Oh, yes, yes. I felt really with it and groovy and virile and young. What happened? I caught sight of myself in the mirror. <laughs> That's him. What, the chairman's nephew? Yeah, a little squirt. I hope I get a chance to buy him a glass of red wine. Why? So I can spill it down his white suit. <laughs> oh, I say, Malcolm, you look marvellous. Well, this whole thing? Oh, I bought it for the Saudi trip. Apparently, wear the same sort of duds in a disco as you do in the desert. <laughs> I trust you left your pith helmet at home, sir. Where's BT? Oh, not coming, I'm afraid. No, she couldn't get the hang of this disco business at all. Kept banging her heels on the floor and shouting ole. <laughs> I, I brought my niece along instead. Where the devil is she? Ah, there you are, my dear. Oh, Linda Bottomley. 
Oh, lovey, you know her. <laughs> Linda's your niece? Uh, well, we are very distant. <laughs> Not for long, are they? <laughs> hey, well, um, uh, see you there, Terry. Uh, remember the honour of the department's at stake. <laughs> stake, at stake. <laughs> It'll be burnt to a crisp if they see me dancing. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the biggest twit of all? Not you, darling. Honestly, if your job depends on something as pathetic as whether or not you can disco, this firm isn't what it used to be and you shouldn't be sorry to leave. You have integrity. You're absolutely right, you. This firm isn't what it was, and I, I don't give that for it. I, I don't give that for the firm or anyone in it. To hell with a lot of them. It's the chairman. On your feet, June. Oh. <laughs> ah. Uh, good, e good evening, sir. I expect you're wondering, wondering why we're not in there grooving away. Well, actually, we've learnt all the steps, but quite frankly, we, we discovered it just isn't our scene. What? No, no I mean, it isn't. And I'm not going to make an exhibition of myself just to save my job. I, I have integrity. You what? Yes, and, and if my job depends on, on something so pathetic as whether or not I can disco, then, then to hell with it. What did you say? To hell with it. Oh, just a minute. Oh, that's better. I couldn't fathom why your lips kept moving and nothing came out. Oh. You mean you, you didn't hear what I said? No, not a word. I made these out of a paper hanky to try and cope with that awful racket in there. Do you mind if I join you? Oh, no, please do. Oh, <coughs> well, I'm glad to see one of my senior executives behaving with dignity. Most of your fellows are in there looking like Italian ice cream vendors with some fighters dance. <laughs> Why, it's all the fault of that idiot nephew of mine. First thing tomorrow morning, he goes straight back to the mailing department. I don't give a damn what his mother says. <laughs> you know what you've got, don't you? A damn cheek, sir. Integrity. That's what you've got, integrity. You all go far, Mitford. <laughs> now, what were you saying to me when I had these damned earplugs in? Ah, well... It really isn't important, Sir Dennis. Good evening. Uh, but you, uh, you were going like that with your fingers. Why did you do that? Well, I, I, I was just going, uh, you know... Uh, 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 waiter! Waiter! I was, uh, uh, what is your pleasure, sir? Oh, that's damn decent of you. I have a large brandy. Oh! Oh! oh then what's happened? Oh, in the middle of the Latin hustle, something went click. Oh, perhaps it was Beatty, Ole. <laughs> no, it was my back. Uh, if you'll excuse me, Sir Dennis, I'd better take this young lady home. You do nothing of the sort. Now then, you look after that, and I'll look after this. Come along, my dear. You can teach me how to hustle. <laughs> he seems to be very good at hustling already. <laughs> oh, Malcolm, is it bad? Oh, absolute agony. I do hope it isn't permanent. Nah, of course it isn't. Under the circumstances, there's only one thing it could be. What's that? Slip disco. 